new six has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and this public television station. This week on News 6, we'll set the stage at Finley's Theatrical Accessory Shop, we'll talk to award-winning country singing Liberty Benton sophomore, and we'll see the scaly collection of a Liberty Benton sixth grader. Hi, I'm Lindsay Bustecker from Liberty Benton School. Welcome to News 6. With today's first story, here's Shelley Thompson. Few people know that there's a place in Finley, Ohio that makes theatrical supplies of all kinds. W News 6 visited this place and Amber Gilbert has a story. All the world's a stage, so they say, and that stage is set with accessories from Theatrical Accessories Incorporated of Finley. Mrs. Blythe, what sorts of theatrical accessories do you make? We're in our dance season right now and we make full costume uh, for the young dancers that have been taking dancing lessons all year. Uh, then we go into Halloween and we do the same thing. We have full costumes for that. Or you can just buy, uh, like we have here, animal horns, uh, devil horns, tails. You can just be about anything you'd like to be uh, if you use your imagination. Uh, we also do fancy uh, jewelry and crowns. Uh, we do a lot of tiaras for our, our homecoming queens. Mrs. Anderson, who do you have as clients? We wholesale only, and we ship out to dealers, wholesalers, distributors, mostly uh, costume and novelty type businesses so far. Have you ever made anything that we might recognize? I think the most uh, recognizable thing that I recall is our imperial crown that we did for many years. During the centennial of the uh, Statue of Liberty, we saw our Statue of Liberty chair and torch on television quite a bit. The torch is made with a long handle with a, it's actually, it's on a flashlight, so that in parades it shows up very well. I think the uh, um, antlers are the most unusual item we make for Christmas. They, we sell those in thousands. What do you think it is about your business that makes it so successful? We've been in business for over 30 years, and when Elner first started the company, we were like a big happy family. And Elner has always taken special interest in her workers. And I think when you have people that uh, care about each other and care about doing a good job and making a quality product, you're going to have success. This week's News 6 is being produced by the 6th grade classes from Liberty Benton School. The school is located about three miles west of Finley. It was founded in 1921 and has a population of about 4,000. Mandy Soyston of News 6 has the scoop this week on a very talented Liberty Benton student with a very promising future. Heather Monday is a sophomore at Liberty Benton High School. Already an award-winning country singer, Heather told News 6 about her musical hobby and future. Heather, how did you get your start in country music? I just started listening to music in... Once I listened to it, I wanted to do more of it, and I just, my parents made me get out and do the talent show at our school, and then after that, everything, I wanted to do it more. Who are some of your greatest influences? I have to say my parents. They've, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be singing, and I wouldn't be enjoying everything as much as I do. I've heard you won a country music award. Could you tell us about it? The trials were in Toledo, and then we went to California, if you made it from Toledo. And there were people, like, from all over the world. And you had a trial, and there was, like, over 100 people. And if you made that, you had to make top finals to be in the awards night. And I made top four, and I 
Cup, first runner-up. I won a first place, first runner-up trophy, and Reba McIntyre gave me the award. What does singing do for you? It relaxes me. It's like when I'm in a down mood or something, I always sing, and it relaxes me and puts me at ease. And it, I don't think about my troubles or anything. What plans do you have for your musical career? I hopefully am going to become a big country singer star. Well, I know I'm going to become one. <laughs> at least that I'm pretty sure of myself. I want to do it, and I'm determined to do it. Kids View gives the kids of Northwest Ohio the chance to voice their opinions. We asked the Liberty Benton 6th grade class, what's the most important job a person could have? Here's what they said. I think the most important job in the world is a Supreme Court justice, because if we did not have them, there would not be justice in our country. The most important job, I think, is the president's, because if we didn't have a president, the country would be in a mess. I think the most important job is a doctor, because he saves so many people's lives. Jameson Schroed has an unusual collection of pets. They're lizards, and News 6 got an up-close look at the scaly bunch. Jameson started his collection with just one lizard, and now he has 14 of all kinds. Jameson, what kind of lizards do you have, and how are they different from each other? Well, I have iguanas, green iguanas, and I, got a, I have water dragons. I have one sailfin, and I got a little anole, common green anole, and they're all different in different ways, the way they act, and he's different by their colors and how, how they act, um, their sizes. How do you take care of your lizards? Uh, um, I make sure they have good light, um, a, a fairly consistent temperature range, um, and then I feed them, we feed them fresh dandelion greens in the summer. Then in the winter, we buy greens from the supermarket. We feed them crickets, the water dragons crickets, and then we keep them in cages. Well, sometimes the big ones get the broom. Where do your lizards come from? Well, the green iguana or common iguana it comes from Central America or South America around there. And then the water dragon comes from southeastern Asia. The sailfin comes from New Guinea. And the knoll just comes from southeastern United States, around Florida and Georgia. How would you describe lizards as pets? Well, they're fun to watch because they bob their head up and down, and sometimes they'll go like that with their arms. If they go to their spot and just stay there, they find some certain spot, like the one likes to go in the laundry room, and, and others just like to go up on the curtain rod, and other likes to go up in the window and look out. That's all for this week's show. Join us next time when News 6 travels to Freebot, Ohio. Production support for award-winning News 6 has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation 
and this public television station.